So for step nine, attaching the rear upper arms. Well, we have to grab this piece here, D6 off the parts tree, which I have that right there. And then we have to get R1 and R2, and I have the two pieces right there. And essentially we've got these two screw pins. They're going to attach that to the gearbox. And so we'll have to grease that up. And then we just have one screw that's going to attach that part, which will be part of the shock stay, I'm sure. Now here are the pieces. Now, just out of interest, if you haven't um, recognized this, notice before the screw pin was a dark color. So it meant it was the darker pin screw. Notice this is light. So it's the silver ones. Um, so that's how they're designating the difference between which ones you need to get. So I've got all the parts, so I'll set this up and let's put this together. So first off, let's put this onto that rear gearbox. So you can see in the diagram, the motor's kind of grayed out. It's hidden in the background. So we know we're looking at the gearbox this way. You'll also notice that depending on the side, this has something that sticks out. This side, you've got two that stick out. Well, we need the two sticking out because when this goes on, it's going to sit down in between those two sections. So it sits down like that. And then the screw hole, which is the one that we're going to be using, is going to go into here and then go into the back side of that. So we can grab our MA4 screw and we're going to screw this down. Now what's interesting is there is a little bit of play. And it's partly because this is the piece under there is the one that we attached to the gearbox in the first place and it had a bit of movement. So for now, that there is still a little bit of play with this. It's kind of an interesting design, not really seen that before. So I'm just gonna make sure that is in all the way, which it is, so that's fine. So now we're going to attach these. And to make sure, R2, you can see that their one side has almost like a pointed end. So we know that that's going to be fitting onto the back side. Uh, hold up. Uh, yeah, onto the back side, just like that. So you see how this goes on and then this goes on top of it. So in actual fact, this piece did have to go on first anyway, but you can see here, it's going to sit just like that over top of everything. So we're going to grab our grease and we're gonna grab our screw pin and we're gonna grease this up. And we'll put that on there. Grab our screw pins, move it through. There we go. And it should fit to the other side. There we go. So we can now screw this in place. And I've kind of got my index finger on this because you see how it wants to go up while you're doing it. So I'm kind of countering it with my finger. There we go. And it's an interesting design because you see how it's now going to go and rest on that tower that we put on. And <clears throat> it can't go any farther down because the pointed end is catching on that bump piece that's right there. Interesting. Okay, so we'll do the other side. So this is now more stable because it's attached to this piece as well. So again, let's grab our other piece and we need to grab our screw pin and we're gonna grease this up. There we 
go. And again, got the pointed end facing back. Put that on there. Slide that through. And it's on the other side. And we will now screw this in. And again, that's as far as it's going to go down and up. Interesting design. Anyways, there are the front, or I mean the rear upper arms in place. So step nine is complete. So now we're going to move on to step 10 and attach the rear suspension. Yeah.